In this video, I will show you how to use Productive.io. So Productive.io is an all-in-one agency management solution and it also serves for different purposes. You can see those right here. So it's for marketing agencies, for consulting and production companies. So I'll show you how you can use it and you can use it for any of these key areas. So you can use it for sales, resource planning, project management, budgeting, collaboration, billing, time tracking and reporting. So first head over to Productive.io and click start free trial right here. Then in order to claim your free 14 day trial, simply go and enter your email address right there. Now the email address does need to be a branded email. It cannot be Gmail or Hotmail or something like that. So make sure that you have a company email. Then here enter your first and last name and your phone number. Then next enter your company name, company type and company size. So for the types you can pick any of these right here. For example an accounting agency, a marketing agency, media agency or any of these other ones. Now for example I will go with a marketing agency and then for the size I'll say 2 to 10. Then they have two more questions. What are the main challenges you want to solve and how did you find out about Productive? I will say that I found it through social media. And let's say for the challenges I want to solve, I want to manage my clients better and improve team communication. So then you need to agree to the contract right here and then click on start using productive. So now right here you can book in a call with a person from the productive team and basically they will help you set up your account and show you all the ins and outs and just tell you what you need to do for your business specifically. So this can be very valuable, especially since you can just get this for free. But I'll just skip this for now and you need to wait for this to prepare and then click start using productive. So then you will go here. From here you can go and watch this video or close this. And now here the first thing to go and do is to create a project. So if you click create project, you can either create a client project or an internal project. Now if you're not working on a project right now, then you can go and skip this if you want. But for example, I will go with an internal project. Now you can create it from scratch, you can create it by copying an existing project, but you can also pick a template from the library. I'm just going to create one from scratch and click continue. Now here you can give your project a name. So if it's a client, just name it the name of the client's business. That's easiest to keep them apart. Then who can see this project? All employees at your business or only project members. Then here you can choose the project manager and you can add a workflow right here. Now for the time tracking, you can track time and set time estimates to do tasks and then click continue. Now here you can set a budget for this project. You can set an end date and a document template. So you have the budget here, but I'll say I don't need a budget and click on create project. So as a project management tool, you have different views that you can use. You can use a board. So right here, you can then do the project management. So you have a list right here. Now you can also create more lists and then here you can click add new task and then add a task. Now this is just a really simple project management tool that will basically just help you streamline some of the processes where instead of using different softwares such as monday.com and then also something for your scripts or your CRM, now you just have it in this one platform. So it's nothing special, but the main selling point of Productive is that you can just do everything in one place in my opinion. Now next I want to go to the time section here. So you can go to my time right here where you can then enter your time. Now maybe if you're the owner you don't need to track your time but you can invite your team members into productive.io and I'll show you how you can do that and they can then also track their time and then if you pay them by hour then you know how much you need to pay them. Now to invite your team members just hover over your initials in the top right and then click on invite people. From here you can either invite an employee, a client or a contractor. Now the reason that you may want to invite clients is that clients are users that communicate with your team on tasks. So basically your clients can just directly give tasks that they want to get done through Productive if you invite them. Next in the time section here you can book time off and you can set company time. Now here in the financial section you can set budgets, expenses, you can send invoices and create invoices which is really cool. So if you click invoice you can choose a company here so you need to set up the companies for example company A and then here you can create an invoice. And then here you can select a service that you want to create an invoice for. So for example the monthly retainer then click next step 
and then here you can see the invoice you can choose when you want it to be due you can choose the tax rate the document template and stuff like that next in the financials you will also see payments and from here you can create payments for specific companies so basically this is a log of the payments and this helps you keep track of who still needs to pay you then in resourcing here you have your people so you can see what they have been up to you can see the projects that you have been working on and who has been working on those projects then in the time off section you can see who is taking time off and this tool also works as a CRM so you have your deals, contacts and companies here now to add a company just click companies and then here click plus company then here enter the name, the currency for this company the full company name, the tax ID the default invoicing settings, so the payment terms, the tax rate and the invoice template. So now you can actually use this company to create invoices. Then in the CRM, in the deal section here, you can actually see what it looks like. So basically right here, you have the stage. So this one is in open right now, but you have open one and lost. Now if you want more, then you can also create more stages. Now what you can also do is here click on the table and then you can add more views if you want a different view of your CRM. But you can also click on the board right here which is one that I like. And then here you have your open deals. Then in the field section you can choose the fields that you want. So right now you have a name, stage, owner, company and these other ones. Now one cool thing that you have in the CRM here is that you can click automate and now you can add deal automations. So you can add a trigger right here so when a deal is created for example then click apply right there and then you can add something that happens when a deal is created. So then add an action that occurs as a result of the automation click plus right here then click next now for the action for example you can send a slack message you can send an email create a comment or create a task now i would like to create a task then here you can choose the task type you can choose in which project this task will then appear you can choose to which board it's being added and who it's assigned to so basically now when a deal is created then you can create a task right here if you need to do the same thing over and over again so that's what these automations are for so then here you also have your reports where you can add reports to give you a deeper overview of your organization's business status. So this is a very valuable tool and finally in the inbox here you can see all the messages that your team has sent to you or for example that clients have sent to you. So this is a really simple way to keep track of everything that's going on within your business. And you can also set up templates by clicking on your account again and then go to template center. And here you can create templates for projects and budgets. So for example, as a project, you can have a client. And then if you need to do the same things over and over again, when you have a new client, for example, somebody needs to onboard them every single time that you have a client, then you can just create a template for a project where you have that set up and you don't need to set that up yourself every single time. You can simply pick that project. Now, if you head over into the settings right here, you can also change the theme of what it looks like. So if you prefer dark theme, you can also do that. And you have API integrations. So you can integrate it with a bunch of different tools. For example, through Zapier, you can literally integrate it with over seven and a half thousand different apps. Now, in terms of pricing, you can see right here, it depends on how many users you have and whether you want to pay monthly or yearly. Let's say you want to pay monthly and you have three users then the essential plan is $33 per month and you can see what's included in each of these. For example, if you want recurring budgets, invoicing integrations, teams, advanced task management and all of these other ones, you will need to get professional. And then you also have the ultimate plan and the enterprise plan for over 50 users. Now the essential plan is basically $11 per user and then the professional plan is $28 per user and these ones have custom pricing. So that concludes this Productive.io tutorial. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.